can leadership be learned but what for me is maybe even more fundamental question is that what are the prerequisites for someone to be able to learn right so what are the prerequisites that person has to be to be a, a leader a good leader in the future but i, I have no answer on that what, what's, what's your take um uh, I believe it can be learned. Uh, mm -hmm. I know there's also the, the school of thought that, you know, you're born to be a leader. If you're a born yeah. leader. Mm, yeah, some people like to also think they're born leaders, but, uh, but they may may uh, um, may not be that <laughs> in other ways than in their own mind. <laughs> they're born, they're born. I, I, do, yeah, I, do believe, I do believe it is possible to learn. Uh, the question more is that if you are interested to learn, Mm. If you, because learning uh, uh, leadership skills requires you to be genuinely and becoming uh, actually uh, excelling in those skills, then um, it needs that you you are interested, you are um, uh, dedicated as well. Uh, that's like with any other learning as well. Uh, you don't learn if you don't you don't want to. You know, it, it just nobody can pour it into your head. Um, so you need to have the genuine interest and also genuine interest in the kind of human psychology and the, the, the um, human interactions uh, in a sense that uh, how they work and, um, and um, how, how you can, uh, with your actions, impact and influence and um, well, also support others. Um, so, so there needs to be the genuine interest to, to learning the leadership skills. Um, but of course, you, in my view, you need to have certain uh, competencies and and, uh, and and so on, or already, or focus on developing the ones that you may not have. Um, for example, uh, being able to um, do collaborative influencing, like uh, yeah. reaching out to other people and and uh, building bridges and collaborating uh, with others very well. Um, be a good listener. Um, um, be able to have the uh, emotional intelligence uh, factor in the game. Um, uh, good communicator. Um, so th that kind of uh, skills uh, are excellent, a soft skills to have in the pocket uh, um, um, to then go into the leadership studies. But leadership is also, as I said, it's a, it's there's a set of soft skills, uh, but. Uh, there's also the, the strategic parts uh, that mm. is pure business as well, you know, yes. so uh, our business acumen. So uh, it's um, it's a wide combination, but I think that's why it's it's so interesting and it's mm. uh, it's forever study. I mean, if somebody says claims they are a perfect leader, well, well, I'd like to meet them because <laughs> we're all human beings. We're all human beings. And uh, and if there's anybody aspiring to become uh, a leader, or, or develop leadership skills, um, my advice would be that uh, be aware of your weaknesses, mm. but let yourself totally go crazy on your strengths. Just, you know, enjoy what your strengths are because then you shine and then you become excellent, um, uh, outstanding leader instead of becoming a mediocre of just working constantly to improve the, the, uh, the weaker points. Because we are all human beings, we have our own frailties, and so on. I won't tell you what mine is, but uh, <laughs> there is uh, some. So you know, uh, but that 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 would be my advice: that always be aware and try to uh, um, try to think, but also let yourself enjoy the parts that you are good at. Mm -hmm.